and hello again. So, um, so I guess we're going to war with Syria because John Kerry fucking says so. Fuck him. Um, you know, news is crazy. Uh, I don't really understand how people don't understand. There's a fucking conspiracy going on right now. And you think, you think, just because someone's Democrat that they're not part of a conspiracy of bloodshed? Oh my god, you people scare the shit out of me. Um, I mean, more proof that the 432 thing is real is that 432 squared is 186, 624. That's pretty much the exact speed of light in miles per second. Okay, so they changed it to 440, so it just be, would be weird, and it would affect our vibrations negatively, and you wouldn't know about light mathematics. Okay, and 432 is also a huge procession of the equinox number. And in a video I did months and months ago, talks about 144,000, also has to do with the speed of light. Um, so anyway, I mean, they just don't want us to know shit, and change shit, change shit that we have no clue what it involves, and then only afterwards, like in the 21st century, are we like, hey, I think they fucked us over. Like, weed hasn't even been illegal for a hundred years. It was illegalized in 1937. Okay, this shit is very recent. Okay. Um, I got this new book called The Jesus Mysteries. It's very controversial. Um, it essentially states that Christianity was a pagan religion. You know, just like that film Zeitgeist. I mean, Dionysus was born of a virgin on December 25th before three shepherds, died and came back three days later, um, was going to come back after that, you know, as well. Okay, so, I mean, the coincidences are astounding. I'm not saying Christianity is wrong whatsoever. I'm saying Christianity is probably the most complete form of that pagan religion. Just all the little myths into one. And by the way, I haven't even read the whole Bible. I grew up Jewish, okay? So I only knew the first five books of Moses, and not even that well. Um, so, on August 25th, the day Nietzsche died, actually, I started reading the Bible. And I'm, I'm using the audiobooks plus my book at the same time, just so I can get a clear tempo going and know exactly how long each thing is. And I'm at, uh, I'm at Leviticus now, so hopefully I will finish the whole Bible by the end of this year. You know, first time for everything. I mean, I'll read the most complicated book of all time, Finnegan's Wake, but I won't read the most popular book of all time, the Holy Bible, um, until now. Uh, I just had this thing against mainstream shit, but ironically, you come to find that the secret, the most secret shit is possibly in the most mainstream stuff because the way to hide something is to show it to you, com show it to you completely. I mean, that's part of their magic. Okay, and I will have some, um, some, you know, analyses of the Bible when I'm done. And I was watching a Vice City video game, like a YouTube um, video of the GTA Vice City. And the ice cream truck thing, where you get the ice cream truck in that second island, the, the, the place has two domes, just like the San Onofre power plant, exactly like it. I'll show you a picture um, some other time. But yeah, it's literally a dome with the little thing on top for the nipple in Vice City. And of course the V in Vi Vice City is for the fifth age. And of course GTA 5 is coming out soon. And I did mention in V for Vendetta, um, remember, remember the 5th of November, V for the fifth age once again. So I mean, they, they hide their shit, they expect us to be stupid, even though they were told it. They didn't figure any of the shit out. They were just like, oh, okay, you want to be famous? Well, we got to tell you, this world is run by Satanists, and this is all the symbolism you have to put in your films in order to release them. You and me, average citizens, are finding it out with our brains. And with the Grox, who is essentially talking to Jesus. I mean, he is, he is on the right path. Um... It, it's like, even that film, The Rock of Ages, it's like the rock, the stone coming down. I'm just saying. And in the, 
the film company Village Roadshow Pictures. Like at the beginning of movies, you see their sl uh, slogan. It's a bunch of V's. All V's, man. It's a little creepy. Um, so anyway, I'm starting the Bible. I know it's kind of weird. I went from like a 2012 hippie guy to God and guns. Um, but you know, I was always about spirituality, okay? And I was always about self-defense. I've had a firearm since 2009, okay? I'm not some like just getting on the bandwagon, but I am buying, I bought a couple guns this year because who knows if I can buy them next year. I mean, they're trying to tax ammo out of existence. They want to raise the sales tax for guns so they can um, pretty much make them extinct. They want to raise ammo tax by 50% and guns themselves by like 20 or something ridiculous. Don't they cost enough? And don't you think these actual killers who use guns illegally will find it cheaper in the, you know, black market? Democrats want to just pretend like, oh, well, if we ban it legally, no one can buy it. If you use your common sense, if, you're, if you live in the real world, you know that criminals don't buy guns at Academy. You know this. So you are lying. And anyone who lies is evil. Period. I always tell the truth. Like Mark Twain says, if you always tell the truth, you have nothing to hide. And in South Carolina, they're trying to fucking make it illegal, illegal to be homeless. And, in, and if you don't move out of there, you'll be moved into a shelter where you're not allowed to leave. Dead serious. South Carolina. They are fucked. And a World War II hero refuses medical care, so cops kill him in the nursing home. They shoot him with like a beanbag shotgun because he didn't want to... To go through surgery. This is some police state shit right now. And the three bored black teens who killed uh, who killed that other poor vet. You don't hear that? You know, Obama's not making any statements about that. Oh my god. People want to think, whenever you see a picture of Trayvon, he is always 13 years old. Trayvon was not 13 years old. He was 17 Six foot two, 175 pounds. Do you feel sorry for him now? Do you think he's a fucking innocent little kid now? No. He had videos of his Smith & Wesson and his pot plant, and he dealt drugs. I'm not saying drugs are bad, but he was in that stupid ghetto system. Okay? And he glorified it. And now Obama's saying, well, my son would look like that. Yeah, well, would your son look like the 200 kids you fucking droned in the Middle East? And now we're about to drone Syria, even though Iran is the fucking real problem? <sighs> but at least Bloomberg fucking lost uh, the stop and frisk shit in New York. That is the most unconstitutional thing I've ever heard. He's trying to regulate sodas, make people have slower elevators so they're forced to take the stairs. Fuck you, man. It's a free country. And unless you live in a blue state like that.